Good evening. My name is Rolando Ramirez Camasco. I'm a master's student at the University of Sao Paulo. And today I'm going to present part of my research called Memory Kernel and CP Divisibility in Gaussian Collisional Models. Okay, so when describing open quantum systems, we're interested on the effects of the environment on the dynamics of the system. We usually assume that the environment is a complicated function like infinite harmonic oscillators and make several assumptions, oftentimes unphysical, to get a microscopic derivation of the Lindblad equation, one of which is the Markovian approximation, which assumes that information can never come back to the system. However, in general, there may be a backflow of information through the environment, which characterizes a non-Markovian evolution. This effect touches at the core of information processing which justifies the needs for detailed studies. One model which takes into account this is the so-called collisional models. We model the environment as a chain of units which interact with the system one at a time. This is by construction Markovian as the units never come back to interact with the system. We introduce the non-Markovianity in a controllable way by allowing interactions between the units. The scheme would be something like this. We have our system S and the environment, the chain of units. The dynamics is as follows. The system first interacts with unit one. Then before the system interacts with unit two, we make unit one and unit two interact. This way, unit two already will have information about the system which gets through unit one. Now, when the system interacts with unit two, there will be a backflow of information. This is described by the equation below, where U is the interaction between system and unit, and B is the interaction between units. In general, this is a numerically costly process as it is scales with the number of units. For this reason, we use the notion of Markovian embedding seen in figure B. This can be seen at each step. We only care about the system and the unit the system is about to interact. For example, for the first step, we only care about the system and the unit one. At the second step, we only care about the system and the unit two, and so on then we can think of the evolution as a map that takes the system and unit at a step n and gives the system and the unit at the next step so that effectively we are only using a subspace of the whole Hilbert space. Given the dynamics, we would like to characterize now the memory effects. In order to get more analytical insights, we focus only on Gaussian Hamiltonian. Specifically, we fix UN to be a beam splitter interaction and play with BN to be a beam splitter or a two mode squeezing. We study this using two schemes the memory kernel and the map divisibility. For density matrix, we know that the super operator K over here is the memory kernel. We can formulate the same for the collisional models given by this k n minus r. In the left part, we present the memory kernel for the beam splitter dynamics, and on the right hand side, the two mode squeezing dynamics. Both of them have unique behavior and will have regions that highly influence the dynamics, the blue and the red spots, and regions where it won't. The aces of the plots are the interaction strength of the system unit interaction, lambda s, and the unit unit interaction, lambda e. We show the same plots for the map divisibility. There are again some regions where the measure diverges, which are highly non Markovian. And we also see that the behavior of the plots is similar to the one from the memory kernel. In conclusion, we showed that the non Markovianity in collisional models can be fully encapsulated in the Markovian endemic.
we particularly study the memory kernel and the CPU divisibility and find close expression for both of them. Thanks.